local government aid supports just under half of several crucial services in Brainerd. When a city's tax base and other budget needs are low, this aid, known as LGA, fills in the gap. Our Hannah Tran tonight has more on what changes are in the air at the capital involving LGA and how that could impact our area. A city's tax base supports services from the fire department to the police and even those who care for streets and sewers. And so our tax base in the city of Brainerd proper is really low. That gap is filled by local government aid, an amount determined by a city's economic makeup. $80 million will be added to the LGA for Minnesota. How that money is split depends on the city. For the city of Brainerd itself, they do have a lower property tax base, but nearby you've got a lot of communities uh, that are on the lakes that have, might have a higher property tax base. Local government aid formula is based off of a city's population as well as their tax base. Cities like Brainerd will see a difference, but cities like Baxter, which is just past the sign behind me, do not need this type of aid. Communities in greater Minnesota have a lot less tax base. Uh, than in other parts of the state, and so for communities that have less tax base, property taxes have to be higher. Developing cities like Baxter have many businesses and other entities to provide a tax base for basic services, but some cities need help to fill the gap. This year, Brainerd gets over $3 million in local government aid. For 2014, that will go up to around $4 million. Other cities seeing increases include Cuyuna, Deerwood, Ironton, and Pequot Lakes. Over the last couple of years, I think one of the frustrations with the program has been that communities have a hard time telling from one year to the next how much money they'll get, which makes it hard to plan their budgets. With additional money comes an easier formula. This new formula, if it passes, will give us a constant amount because in the past, sometimes they have allotted so much LGA and then they have actually taken some of it away. It's a stronger support for services that communities want and need. Hannah Tran, Lakeland News. Brainerd's large share of nonprofit organizations is also another reason for the city's low tax base. The proposal for the new formula is still in progress. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.